Actually, several people You're have on. said it doesn't. Oh, hello. <laughs> Sorry, you didn't give me any notice at all. I did. Hi, I'm Laura with Three Thumb Tongue by Laura. Oh, don't we look put together? Um, I really wish you were yelling at me with that. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura with Three Thumb Tongue by Laura. Okay. We are, today we're layering paint. Before we get started, we've got our Thursday at 3 winners to announce. So we will do that right now. And we've got two. Obviously, we always have two. And here we go. First one is... Amy Roberry says, hey, hey, hey. Hey, Amy. Hey, hey, hey. There you go. Okay, first one is Molly Bradley. Here is, see, it is so humid in here, my glasses are fogging up. Laura. Turn on the air conditioner, yeah. Laura. What? We love you. <laughs> I'm sure that's what Tom was going to say. Okay, did you get the before picture of is Molly's? This the before? That's the before. Okay, ready for the after? All right, I'm going to try this one more time. All right, here's the after. Oh. Dun, da, da. Ooh. Awesome, awesome. Oh, tell me so we can say hi. Uh, hi <laughs> from Dee Dee St. Peter. Hey, Dee Dee. Hi from Trisha Lawrence. Trisha. Hi from Boise. Just Boise? Well, Judy Leatherworth, sorry. Oh, hey, Judy. Amy Just kidding. said you're looking fabulous today, but she is a suck up. Um, it's because of the bling on my glasses. I can tell your glasses are fogging yes. up. Though. I know because it's so humid in here. It's you that's humid, not it, the room. I'm not humid. It's raining like crazy, and it's seven million degrees in Is here. Anyone going to oh, everybody going to a change in the room? I was interrupted. Yes, you were. <laughs> yes. This one is from Meridian, Idaho. It's don't give me a tricky name. Yeah. Hey, Meridian, Idaho. Somebody <laughs> Morris, Fetterman Morris. Fetterman. Well, that's a cool name. Hey, Lisa. Johnny said hey. Hey, Johnny. Monica and Dave said hi, guys. Monica and Dave. Denise Stefanko said hello. Denise, hey. She's excited about the topic. Okay, good. Don't and tell your mom to leave it. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. I'm focusing on that. Sorry. Be here all day just saying hi. Yeah, hey, like everybody. Um, that makes me so happy. If okay, so. a large male audience, keep it up. No, I do <laughs> not. I, it's just disgusting for anyone. Here is the, oh, just whatever. <laughs> here is the next one. Here's the before. This is absolutely awesome. And it is Travis Conley. Wait, let's go back to Molly. Because I need to see some hearts. Molly needs some hearts for her kitchen. There's her before. Did the whole kitchen. Fabulous. Hearts for Molly. If you are listening, you got a $35 credit. Place an order and put in the note section that you won Thursdays at 3 and we'll refund $35. Now we're going to move on to... And there are tons of hearts. Travis. Look at that. There's the before. Look at the after. That's fantastic. Isn't that fantastic? And she did a cool technique that I should have copied. Um, Travis, if you're watching, tell us what you did because we'd love to share it with everybody because you got like 700 comments on this one because it's phenomenal. And we'll actually do it on a Thursday at 3 if you tell me what you did. Don't tell everybody. Contact me privately and tell me what you did. <laughs> then we can do it on a Thursday at 3. <laughs> Look, I don't know. It doesn't specify gender on Facebook. Oh. It just gives you a name. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. She's saying Travis and then she, but it could be either. So well, you should, right? Okay, so that's fabulous. You have a $35 credit. Place an order. Put it in the note section. You got there. And there you go. So, uh, the other thing we want to announce today is some of you have been asking for it. Drum roll. Blah, 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 blah. We now have Tough Top. Is that a drum roll? Yes, it was. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you, Katie. We <laughs> now have Tough Top in a 32 ounce size. Oh. Is that a problem? Nope. It's not, it's not on the website yet, so you can't really order it. We just have it here at the warehouse, and we like it. <laughs> just kidding. We're going to put it on the website, and is the price what we discussed the other day? Sure. Katie, here, wait. Is that cover everything up? No. Is it covered it? Well, what are you covering? Okay. <laughs> Everybody can hear that. Okay. It's 30 bucks for the 32 ounce. That's a great deal if you've been buying the 8 ounce for somewhere in the 13 to 15 range. So 32 ounce tough top is available as soon as we get it on the website, which will be probably next week. Is that a problem? Did I say something wrong? No, just say it's available. I don't know about all the other. You don't know that we're gonna sell it? This is what you said the other day. Tom does this, he gives us a price and then he like changes his mind, decides if we need more groceries, you know, that kind of thing. So actually, what he's probably thinking about now is one of the reasons that we're doing this today. There are several yays going 
good, 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 good. And lots of hearts lying across the street. Yay! There should have been hearts for both of those women that did those pro those um before and afters. There those were phenomenal. Flat top? Sure. Sure, right, Tom? You wanna do flat top too, baby? Is that not no, you don't want to? It's more money. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I gave you the wrong price. It's probably gonna be a little higher than that, so it's probably gonna be a little higher than that for several reasons. One that was insanely low. I thought that's what he said the other day. I misunderstood my fault. It'll probably be somewhere in the eighty hundred range. And <laughs> he's got to make a little money. We're doing this chair because this looks don't you think? Just a little bit like the color of a hydrangea. Who thinks yes? This looks kind of like colors in a hydrangea. Dee Dee would like you to know that bigger is better. Yep. <laughs> Dee -dee -dee -dee. Thank you, Dee Dee. All right, so we're going to do, Tom, will you hand me this other chair behind you? Now, what I did already was I put a coat of cotton on the chair. It doesn't have to be a fabulous coat. I just did it. It's not even dry in the middle. Okay, but this is dry. How come that fan didn't dry that better? All right, so. Because it's so humid in here. You know what? That's exactly if why it didn't dry. Glasses, they will fog up. Yes, they will. <laughs> I'm going to show you. Yes, they will. Katie, would you like to tell everyone why we're doing things the color of hydrangeas right now? Katie? I'm getting married. Did everyone hear that? <laughs> Did everyone hear that? Katie is getting <coughs> married. <laughs> and I sacrificed my chair. <laughs> That's right, Jill used to sit in this chair every week and we took it. I'm doing these because I think they'll be, this one, not this one, this one's a little big, but this one will be fun on a table with things sitting on top of it, decorations, blah, blah, blah. Are there hearts going all across the screen for Katie getting married? Or are there sad faces because Katie's getting married? She's not moving though, she's staying here. And she's working here, so that's fabulous. So yay! Yay, yay, yay for Katie! All right, so that's why we're doing kind of the colors of some hard ranches. So we're starting with a chair that has been painted the cotton color. That's our first color we did, because we're layering. Next, we're gonna put on some blue lace. I asked her, I thought, now, let's see who agrees with me. Smiley faces if you agree, or thumbs up, or whatever you can do. I thought on this, a little purple. Hydrangeas would have been really pretty. You don't mm -hmm. like purple. Do what? That's shocking that you would have purple since you do not like that. I'm not gonna paint a dresser purple, but hydrangeas have purple in them. <laughs> they do. Don't they have purple in them, people? Okay, so, but Katie said no, and I'm trying to pretend that it's her day, mm -hmm. whatever. <laughs> so. Are there questions? Um, if everyone's invited and if we're going to Facebook Live the wedding. Only people, oh, wouldn't that be hilarious? <laughs> everyone's invited, um, as long as you send a present. Just kidding, everyone's, oh, everyone's invited. Um, can I show them a picture of you and Nick? Sure. She's marrying someone named Nick. He's fabulous. <laughs> and he has a tricky last name because he's Greek. Katie, can you say it? Kutralakis. Yeah. I can say it, Kutralakis. Yeah. It's not Kutralakis. Kutralakis. I'm going to go with Kutralakis. <laughs> um, and he's Greek and he's handsome. <clears throat> okay, you can disagree with someone purple. Yeah. Is he not handsome? <laughs> handsome. Handsome, handsome, handsome. He's very handsome. Yes. I'm going to have to learn how to spell her new name, but we're just kind of going to go with Katie K. Katie K. Yep, so that works. And Naomi so. would like you to do um, videos of the decor you make, so she must have been in your mind. I'm going to video. We're going to do so many Thursdays at 3 that are going to be for the wedding. It's not even funny. Just kidding. We're going to do some, but, you know. Oh, and since we're showing pictures of weddings, I did mention last week that I was going to. That's Tom and I. That was 31 years ago, honey. Yep. Yep. That is not a white sock. Tom forgot socks and wore no socks. That is actually an ankle. That is flesh there. Who knew that unless you were an albino, flesh could be that color? <laughs> that is Tom who forgot, who was late to our wedding and forgot socks. I was just thinking ahead for that evening. Uh -huh. And just let me say, <laughs> that was like eight chins ago. No photoshopping. I really did at one point in my life have cheekbones. And I still look just like that. Yes, you do, Tom. A little salt and pepper in your hair, but you look exactly the same. So, so handsome. So, so handsome. So. <laughs> do what? What did you say? I said you pointed out the... What do you mean salt and pepper? Yes. I don't have no salt and pepper. <laughs> no, no, you don't. Okay, so everybody said done. Looking at how fabulous our wedding picture was. Okay. Now, we're going to... Because hydrangeas, Katie, tell them the colors of your wedding while I'm putting this coat on there. Um, hydrangea blue and white. Blues and whites. Mm-hmm. 
So we're putting blue on the chair now. This is blue lace. We're adding a coat of blue lace on top. And you know what? This is gonna have to dry quick because I don't have anything to do while this dries. But I hated to paint the whole thing and then just tell you what I was doing. I'm mumbling, right? Sorry. <laughs> I was stressing about the fact that. You didn't plan ahead? I did plan ahead. I did a whole chair the other day planned ahead. Uh -huh. To have something to show everybody. In fact, we'll just paint the front. We're just gonna paint the front so that we get a good coat on the front. Now you're just showing the back, Katie. Well, because I can't go around. Well, this. that's true. You can't come around. <laughs> well, you could, but it'd be weird. All right. Um, any questions about anything else anybody has while we're painting and you guys are all just sitting there watching me paint? So sorry. Isn't that what they do every week? Well, but usually we... Yeah, I guess I'm sorry. <laughs> Make me a little self-conscious now. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> yeah, I don't have my ring right now. It's being sized. But when I get it back, I will show you all. She's already got her dress. <laughs> Which she's wearing right now. No, she's not. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. It's beautimous. So, so pretty. It was one of those. It was really cute. It was one of those things where we went shopping and... Uh, she tried on several and came out of the dressing room and she was just like, Ugh. When she had on the right one, the one that was hers, she came out and looked so happy. So beautiful. So beautiful anyway, but she just looked happy when she found the one. Um, did you prep the chair? I did prep the chair, which I meant to tell you. That's why that's sitting out. I did prep the chair. And then I'm putting the second coat of paint on. First I had cotton on there and now we're doing some blue lace. And are so. we getting quartz with twisty lids anytime soon? Sherry, no, we're not. Was that Sherry? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> not right now. Okay, Tom, will you sit that in front of the fan so it really, really dries? Um, I love the desk you posted a couple days ago. Where did you put it? I put it in my office. Is my office all nasty messy? Probably. I can't tell from my bit. angle. <laughs> That's what we'll no, do while we wait for the chair to dry. Okay. Here, we'll walk next door to my office. First of all, how fabulous is this? A screen door. You have to do this with no butt shots, Katie. It's a screen door. So you can back up so they can see the screen door. Okay. Talk about the screen door for a minute. I want to make sure my office is not stupid. <laughs> okay. Can I come in now? Yes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait, but I don't want to talk about the screen door. Yeah, you know you something worse? You know something worse than making people watch you paint crap? <laughs> they can watch you clean it's, your room. Yeah, watching you clean your office. No, they're not supposed to watch me clean your office. Good grief. Well, you can see it through the screen door. I'm kind of focused on you. All right, come on in. <laughs> So okay, you can go on that side because that's my, that's the desk we did. So this is, what is that? Oh, this is the blue lace on top. Somebody said they couldn't see the blue lace. Blue lace on top, oyster everywhere else. We even painted the little brass things where your cords go in with the paint and then put tough top on them. And then I just put something on the front too. Tom, will you move that twig thing? Mm -hmm. Just to the hall. So there's the desk. So we've used blue lace. We've used oyster down there. These were old cabinets. Those were speakers in the bottom. We just put fabric on the back of those. Those are blue lace. Made shelves, stain top those. Same thing here. Chalkboard with the slate and then did the frame and glazed it. Close up on the frame because it's really pretty glazed. If you haven't done a chalkboard yet, you ought to. It's really, really cool. Really fun, really fun. And then on that side, if you come over here with me, Kate, oh, on that side, we have the rocking chairs done in putty. The dresser is oyster and putty. And the top is stained top with dark walnut. And then the shelves are blue lace. The little toolbox thing up there is blue lace. And that's pretty much it. So we totally use the paint. It's a fabulous, fabulous thing. Tom, is our thing dry? And then we go to the sign right there, which I think that was a Thursday at three. So everybody should remember that one. <laughs> it's almost dry, babe. Come on is in. it? All right, let's do it. No butt shots. Okay. You're better than dad that's so. All right. What question? They, a lot of them came in all at once for me, so I couldn't. Um, I can go back. Questions? Go. What is the difference between our paint yeah. and chalk paint? So our paint and chalk paint? paint we don't have any powder in ours. It's a latex base. It's soap and water cleanup. You don't have to wax. What other differences, Tom? Explain. The big difference is what we did was we were able to accomplish the same thing they accomplished with chalk instead of putting powder in it or putting in, um, you know, some type of a grout mixture. We actually did it chemically. 
And so um, the nice thing about that is it dries faster. Second thing is you get a harder surface. And the third thing and the big thing is you can get truer, deeper colors. That's why we can have a solid black. Whereas if you notice in chalk paint lines, it's a little bit gray. It's because of the white powder. So it's just, um, you know, and the biggest thing is when you're done, you don't have to last. Does that help answer the question? What other questions were there? Did you paint the glass on the picture frame? The glass on the picture frame. I'm assuming something that, that was in your office that you pointed Where out. Did you on the chalkboard? On the chalkboard, I used blue glaze because it's my favorite color, and I just used our regular dark glaze. I just used a light coat of the regular dark glaze. Do you want to run in there and show that real quick, Katie? You no, you don't. <laughs> you want to stand right here and not move? It's not. That wasn't tell them it looks like glass, but it wasn't glass. It's actually a bit. Oh, oh on the chalkboard. Yeah. The glass on the chalkboard. No, that's just a, the glass broke out of that frame, and the picture was dumb. So I took it out and used um, a piece of MDF. They'll cut it for you the right size at Home Depot if you tell them what the dimensions it was are. It a large picture And put it in me. there. <laughs> it was not a large picture of Tom. So, great question. All right. For the last color on this, you can leave it there for one sec because I'm going to mix um, the color. I yes. missed what color the cabinets are with the fabric. I just cabinets with the fabric, fabric are also blue lace. You have that fabric? Somebody has that fabric? She said she just bought it for her kitchen. I love that fabric and it looks really, really pretty with blue lace. That was Debbie Palmer. Debbie, you have good taste. Okay. <laughs> so, you recommended this paint for kitchen cabinets instead of chalk, correct? Yes, it's fabulous for kitchen cabinets. Yes. Everybody on there who's done their cabinets say, yay, yay, yay. Into the chalk paint? Is there chalk paint, yeah. Yeah, you do not want to have to wax a whole set of cabinets. Ooh. Over and over, because as you clean, the wax comes off. Yeah. All right. I don't know what you're doing. I'm mixing. This is denim, and this is cotton. I'm mixing, because I really don't want that dark a color on there. I want something a little bit lighter. But Katie wanted something darker. See, if you focus right here, I did do a third color. You can kind of see it up there. Katie wants something a little darker. Like, you can see it right here. Did that help? Yeah. So you can see that third color, but Katie wants something just a little bit darker. Okay, so, hey, Tom, real fast, will you run next door and wet those? Yeah. Thank you. are going to sit in that chair at the wedding. Nobody's sitting in it. They're for display. What? Not that one. That one's a little bit big. I just did that one for the photo. Will Jill will be sitting in that. Oh. The little baby <laughs> one we're doing, we're going to put... Never mind. Why am I even telling him? All right. Everything's soap and water clean up. I have gloves on just because I don't like to wash my hands. Because <laughs> no, I get my nails dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I have the chair, please. Ooh, this is fabulous, Tom. Thank you. All right. First step, instead of sanding, we're going to wet this dress. It's still wet on the back. So. It's okay. It's it's the back. All right. It's still wet all over. Okay. So... Wet rag, all the water's wrung out. Let me see exactly how good he did. Ooh, he did good. All the water's wrung out. You just want a damp rag. You just want a... Moist. I know, nobody likes the word moist either. Um, a light, slightly wet rag. Oh, <laughs> Okay, what? all right. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I can do this. Okay, I can do it here. You can see it, but I can't see it. So, is the white coming through? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. Okay, now look on top. Now, I don't mind going through enough that the wood shows through, too. This is where it's totally personal preference. How much you want to have showing through, how much you don't. Katie, what do you want for your wedding? Whatever you think how you want good, to Mama. look. You're the decorator. How do you want it? She says that because she's on camera. <laughs> Whatever you want, Mom. How often does that come out of your mouth? Okay, now, the one thing that I don't like sometimes when I get rolling with it... Wet distressing is a whole different look. See, look how awesome that is. Whole different look than sanding with a sander. And I love it. Okay, so we've got a little bit going on here. Enough for you to see what we're doing. Okay, there we go. Now, wait, if it's gonna look good, I gotta do the front. Just a minute. <laughs> gotta do the front. Okay. The one thing that sometimes bothers me when I'm doing a project like this and trying to pull through other colors is look at the top it looks like big white splotches so I'll just go back in and brush a little bit of the original paint color back on so that it doesn't like like big white splotches now you see the white through but it doesn't see what I'm saying does that make sense to anyone 
All right. Makes sense to me. Good kid, you're the only one that matters right now. Okay, last thing we're gonna do is add some of this denim and cotton we mixed up. And I'm gonna dry brush it, I don't want a lot on there. So I took my brush, I have the paint, but I'm getting a lot of the paint off. So, cause I can always add more, taking it off isn't as fun. So, again, it's hard for me to see. I'm just gonna kinda brush it on and then take one of my clean rags that's wet and just blend a little. You could put any color here. In fact, I'm going to do something else, even though I didn't ask you, Katie, in just one minute. You're going to get purple, Katie. No, <laughs> you're not going to get purple. You said no to purple. I can listen. Okay? See, that adds more dimension. Did you hear her say that, Jill? I did hear her say that. Something about listening? Don't get me in trouble. What did you guys say? What are you saying about me? Okay. And just smoothing out so you can see the streaks. Okay, ooh, look how much prettier that is with that third color on there. All right, we're going for the fourth color, Katie. New paper plate. I can paint over it if you don't like it. You're fine. Again, because they're on camera. I'm fine, Mom. Saying to do. What? Put the oh, really? Yeah, yeah, you had a lot of people suggesting green. Oh, well, nobody said that to me. <clears throat> we're all on the same wavelength. Yeah, see if you can read people's minds. Okay, so it needs to be darker than that, don't we all think? Yes. <laughs> hmm, it needs to be darker than that. Did you add too much cotton? I might have, Katie. There we go. All right, now let's see what happens when what we add... What was the first color you added? Cotton. <clears throat> first we prepped, then we did cotton. Then we did a whole coat of blue lace, whole coat, whole coat, and then we did denim and cotton mixed, just brushed on random places. And now we're doing English ivy and cotton mixed, brushed on random places. How do you get the wax off to repaint with rethunk junk? Ooh. Tom. That's a difficult one. Um, Start with the easy one, Katie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be pretty, Katie. It is tough to get wax off. That's one of the reasons that we uh, that wax is a tough one to use. So, what you can do is use some prep. It'll take a little bit of it off. If there's still some on there, you may have to lightly sand it in order to get down to the paint, and then then a paint will adhere to it. But um, but yeah, once you wax something, it's really tough to put anything else over it because it's petroleum based and it's an oil. So, so you have to get anything on it. But you can do it. You can certainly do it. So, Tom, would it dry as hard as an acrylic-based paint surface? You mean, um, the, our paint? Our paint, yeah. Would it dry as hard as an acrylic base? Certainly. But not the like The top a, of that chair. Isn't that awesome? Do you like it, Katie? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> I have used mineral paints to remove that nasty old wax, then prep works great. Yeah, if you, if that's it. If you get... You have to use something that's going to remove that oil, well, that wax. It's not even an oil. So mineral spirits will be great. A little smelly, but it'll do it. So you just randomly brush on whatever colors you're working with now. This is so pretty, Kate. If we have a bouquet of hydrangeas sitting in this, people are going to want to walk off with it. Where are we going to sit it? Tom, remember you're not supposed to talk until after the wedding. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting ready to just turn it around so you can see the front of it. I'm not even blending right now. I'm just dry brushing the colors together. So, that wet distressing on the first step is huge for making it look old and weathered. And I'm not even dipping my brushes back in. You can see I'm just playing around with them. Look, Katie. Do you oh. love it? Please say yes. Yes, no, I was saying yes. I was in the middle of it. Fabulous. Okay, are there any questions before we wrap up? Any questions from anybody? Share the video. Share, please, so we get more likes, so we can have some money for paying for Katie's wedding. <laughs> That's what Tom stressed about. That's why the 32 ounce prep is going to be 80 to 100 dollars. We got a wedding to pay for. So, there you go. All right. 
Thank you so much for joining us. Do this on a piece of furniture and post pictures of it. Want to see what you've done? If you want to enter for the $35 credit, post your pictures on the Rethunk Junk by Laura Paint Q&A Facebook page. Like us on the main page. Post what you've done. Ask any questions on this thread about what we did today. We're happy to answer them. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. We truly, truly appreciate it. Congrats to Katie. And happy rethunking.